what's not to like about toilet training your cat? When scooping litter box chores become a thing of the past, the notion does sound quite appealing. Yet, here are five reasons why toilet training is a bad idea when it comes to your cat's well-being. Firstly, a toilet bowl is designed in mind for a human, not a cat. To use it, a cat must balance itself on the edge of the seat, where an accidental slip can be potentially traumatic. This can be more difficult for older cats or those suffering from arthritis, so do spare a thought. When it becomes too stressful, don't be surprised if your cat gives up and begins eliminating elsewhere in your home. It's also written in cats' behavior to bury their waste. A self-preservation instinct inherited from their wild ancestors. Depriving them of this sense of security can cause anxiety or stress. Prolonged stress in a cat usually results in behavioral problems, including inappropriate elimination. Daily scooping the litter box makes you familiar with your cat's normal potty behavior and output. That way, anything out of the ordinary can tell you something is off and needs medical attention. For example, are there more or less? or larger or smaller pea clumps than usual. At the first sign of changes, get your cat to the vet to check for a urinary tract infection or other life-threatening problems like urinary obstruction. Similarly, changes in stool texture and even smell give important clues about your cat's health. As with any illness, early detection counts Plasmosis, or toxo, is a parasite found mainly in outdoor cats. Although indoor cats can be infected if they eat a rodent. Toxo can infect other animals, and even humans. And pregnant women are often warned to avoid cleaning cat litter box. When you flush toxo-infected cat stools down the toilet, you put other humans and animals at risk. Most wastewater treatments don't kill these parasites and they end up in water bodies, where they infect and kill other wildlife. Contamination to humans can also happen if cat poop comes into contact with the toilet seat. Effects of toxo in humans include blindness, seizures, and even encephalitis, a serious brain infection. Assuming you're serious about this project, then make sure the top lid is always up and the bottom lid always down. If the top lid is down, your cat can't use the toilet and might just eliminate on the floor instead. If the seat is up, your cat will have no perch and might fall inside the bowl, spooking it from future toilet endeavors. You also need to ensure toilet access for your cat at all times. This can be problematic if the bathroom is occupied, or a user had accidentally closed a door on the way out. We've not even touched on the types of air fresheners to avoid for this human-cat toilet sharing arrangement. You need to travel for a few days and manage to find someone to house it. Unless your house sitter is used to having a toilet-trained cat, he may forget to leave the toilet lit up or put the seat down. Or even if someone agrees to host the cat in their apartment, would they like the idea of sharing their toilet with a cat? For the last resort of putting the cat in a pet hotel, even the best ones don't provide 24-7 access to a human toilet for pets. I'm sure you get the idea. As you can see, toilet training can create more problems than it can solve. By becoming indoor pets, our cats have already made a lot of compromises along the way. However, we must also let cats be cats. And one way to do so is by letting them eliminate in a proper litter box.
scooping the litter box daily not only acquaints owners with their cat's health, it also alerts them to take life-preserving measures promptly. Thanks for watching. If you have found this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe for new content weekly.